everybody. This is me. It's late, but I'm here. I started early. I was working on... I was working on my um, garland for my fireplace. straight <laughs> yes I was working on my garland for my fireplace and you know my living room is rose gold so I ran out of paint I did the whole thing but I wanted it to be more rose gold so I had to order some more of this and this is expensive it's the glitter rose gold like my tree but it just wasn't thick enough for me so I ordered two more and this stuff is expensive $14.99 a can and it goes really really fast so I had to pause on that and decided to work on a wreath of my front door I'm gonna bring it down here so you can see what I'm doing it'll be more interesting is a 28 inch I bought it last year at at home and it was like 90% off I paid like much of nothing for this I think the regular price was like 15 15.99 uh, I saw the tag somewhere earlier but I run into it again, I'll tell you exactly how much it was, but I'm thinking $59.99. So I am going to use, I'm going by the colors of my life side nutcracker I have outside. So in my nutcracker, they have gold, green, red, and white. I didn't have any white or green, well, white or red. So I went to Dollar General. It didn't feel like going way to, and of course, y'all, I had to buy my favorite cakes. They don't sell these everywhere and all the time. They usually have these for holidays. So I picked up me a couple of boxes at uh, Dollar General. I love these cakes. I don't like too many chocolate cakes, but that is one good cake. So I had to run to Dollar General, just right up the street from me, and I ran into some more green, red. So I got the only two packs they had there. So as long as I have a little red in it, Hobby Lobby is closed on Sundays, and I couldn't run to Hobby Lobby. I would prefer to go to Hobby Lobby. And I picked up these. They got a little red in it, too, and white. And I picked up these mini lights. They are for my pink and white tree. And they have, uh, is these the one with the white wire? Yes, these have white wires on it. So that will correlate with my white that I'm going to have in my tree. So I picked up three of them. I think these was like $275. These ornaments was $3. I picked up and some of my Christmas decorations I don't know whether I want um, snow on any but I just picked up me a can of snow anyway and I picked up these little star red ornaments 
this little Christmas tree. Now these was a dollar. These are three dollars. A dollar for this little bell. It's a metal bell. I was mainly looking for red and green and gold. Well, not really gold because I have a lot of gold. Picked up these little Merry Christmas, like a bracelet ornament. These little wreath. Another bell. I picked up this little red angel. I hope I didn't break my Christmas tree. And I picked up my initial. I'm thinking about coloring it red, white, or gold, one of them. And I picked up this little bag with uh, some cedar in it. All of these, oh, it's a dollar. I didn't break it, but it feels like it's made out of porcelain. So I'm going to put it over here out of the way. So I won't break it. I didn't go in Dollar General to spend 70 bucks on this stuff. And the, I ran into these little battery operated lights. I might use that for one of my um, garlands. Or I can, let me use it for this. Let me use it for my wreath because my wreath doesn't have any lights on it. And I picked up two of them. Because I did order some. I didn't know I was going to go in Dollar General and run into any. And I picked up these little ornaments. Focusing on red and green. Another little white bag. These little green, red and green uh, pillows. With a cute little button in between it. This is a snowflake. Both of my snowflake, just different colors. Another little bracelet. And these braces have Joy, Mary, and I think I picked up another green one somewhere. And these little candy canes. So you can see I was focusing on red, white, green. And not really gold. But that's gold going to be in, in my, um, my theme colors for the front section. So let's go ahead and get started here. It's pretty late, so I'm going to drop all of this in, in my bag until I get situated on decorating. And I don't know how I'm going to quite decorate this yet, but I know all of this stuff is going on there. Yes, but I picked this up at, at home last year after Christmas. That's when you want to really shop for your Christmas decor. After Christmas. I went in some tubs yesterday and I had forgotten what I had even bought last year. And it just made me that much excited on decorating. It's a lot of preparing for the holidays. And I broke my glasses. So if you see me with one laying off of my glasses, that's the reason. And this wreath was $59.99. Let me go ahead and tear that off. But like I said, I paid mate. I maybe paid like four or five dollars for this thing. That's how good the sales are during after Christmas. That's how good the after Christmas sales are. I mean, I stayed in that store for like three hours. Or longer. I ran into some outside stuff too.
And when I was packing my stuff, I hate to call them dumb, but I, I was pissed, but I didn't get a Rage Lee uh, out of whack with him. But my husband, he was trying to help me pack. And was trying to bend it so it can fit in my crate and broke it right here. Oh, I was so mad. But I kept my cool. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do, I try to zip tie. That didn't work. I should put some red. Well, let me put some red duct, duct tape there. So it can stay together. Even though, you know, the, and he must have did it real, real hard too, because these are some thick wires. It'll stay on there, but just because I know it's there, it'll make me feel better if I put some tape on it. It'll just make it just that much sturdier if I put this duct tape on there. I say, shoot, I haven't even used the thing. You done went in there and broke it. And I knew it broke because I heard it. And he looked at me, but he tried to play it off. But I knew it. And when I really did look at it, that's what had happened. So I'm going to wrap some duct tape around here. You won't be able to see it anyway. And it just stay together. But, yeah... So it's 28 inches, and it got a little frosty to it. I thought it was beautiful, and then getting it for that price, couldn't beat that. But I don't think I'll be going over there this year. I'll just be double buying it, buying more tubs and Face is getting ridiculous. So right now I'm just fluffing it out. I tried it on my door. I said, would this big old thing fit my door? But it fits pretty tight, but it fits all the way across. So I really would have to watch where I put my ornaments. So you can tell he was really really bending it. He ain't know what he was doing. I, I work with these things all the time. And I know what happens. But I must... He did it so quick, I couldn't even say anything for him to stop. And he looked at me real funny. Yeah, I know what you did. I heard it. You heard it too. That's why you looked at me like that. It looked like he weakened one of my branches too. So I'm going to just go ahead and wrap that around it. Did a little separation there. And I don't want to break it anymore, so I'm going to try to spread these out as much as possible. But if you really want to, some really cheap decoration for after Christmas, go to at home. They had about, ooh, they had so many aisles. And since he bent it like that, I'm going to go ahead and use it as an oval wreath. Because sometimes I, I make my wreath that I sell oval. But I know how to bend them without breaking them. So this is going to be like an oval wreath. Ooh. 
Now they already had a few berries and pine cones on them. That's all they had on that berries and pine cones. And I'm just adding other stuff on it. And I like it because the frost is not coming. I don't know whether it's paint or frost, but it's not coming out. It's, it's probably paint because it's not coming out on my hands or nothing. Yeah, got the big price on here. Where's my scissors? And I think this might have been like 90% off. I start to put this on the outside, maybe over my garage door, but I decided to put it on my door. And I can't put the big ornaments too close to the edge because it'll hit my door and make it wider and I won't be able to close my door. So most of the big ones will have to go on the inner section. And I think I'm going to put on my battery operated lights first. Get them in there and connect it.
Now, if anybody coming in after me at Dollar Tree looking for red and green, they won't hunt, they won't find any. I was just glad they had a little Christmas decoration out because I didn't feel like going all the way to Walmart. Hobby Lobby is closed. And I really wanted to start on this today. After my garland didn't work out because it needed more paint. <coughs> All right, that's just about on the separation part. And my little mini, no, that's for my white wire. I'm looking for my battery operated lights. Let's see how many batteries need, probably three, majority of them. And they have the big bulbs on them, so I'm glad I got uh, how many of these. I just only got two, so I got to make it work. I'm like, Worrying about going back over there. I got to make it work. And about them being big. It, um. May be okay. Now I think they call these the candle. These are the candle lights. They sticks up and they have a little clip on them. Got a little clip, look like a clothespin. So we're gonna make it work. That'll work for two. So we're gonna make these. Oh, let me see how many batteries it needs. I didn't do that much reading up on them. Can you go and give me six double A batteries, please, baby? I'm so glad you came downstairs because you know mama be needing you. <laughs> Ooh, these lights are big. Should I put them on the top top or put them? Yes, yeah, six AA batteries, please. I need to get me some more. Yeah, I'm going to put them on the top top because don't look like they're going to work going in. I think that's the whole idea of having them on top. This is the first time I've seen these. Got the little, like a little clothespin hook. Hmm. This should be interesting. Clip on. Should I put it towards the middle? Let's put it towards the middle. Stretch it out as far as possible. Thank you very much. You can put them in the middle. I can't wait to see how they look. battery operated lights I even use them for the outside because they do have them for indoor or outdoor I don't know whether these for indoor or outdoor six hours on ten hours off battery operated LED clip on candle lights flickering warm white Yes. Ooh. Well, I guess they can get wet for indoor use. Yeah, well, we'll see. I'm going to put it right on my front door. Maybe they're talking about the wetness, keeping it dry.
And if it start raining too hard, where the wind is blowing, I just bring it inside. Let's try these batteries because I'm hoping they better be okay to work. I just have to bring them right back. So that's how they're flickering. Let me see how many modes they have. I don't know about you, but one thing about me, I hate reading on the little paper they have in there. That's a trick to it. You just slide it. And let's see, they may be on the light switch on the back. That's off. Look like they have one mode. Okay, so now we have those on. We gonna go ahead and use the other box. Go ahead and put the other one on. I was looking to see was there are any other modes, but don't look like they saying anything about that. Or it don't really show on the battery pack where you can pop the switch because that's where you turn it on and put the timer on. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put both of these battery packs together for right now. So when I turn one off, the other one is right there for me to turn it off if I need to turn it off. But I'm gonna try to go with the timer so I won't have to be going out there turning it off. Let me make sure I don't have it on the timer. on with timer and that's off can I turn it on without the timer nope so I'm gonna turn it off because it's off right now for both of them with the timer it look like that's the only way you can turn them on with the timer so I will
try to turn both of them on as close as I can. Around, uh, I would say, what time? Around this time, it's the time to turn it on. They stay on about six to eight hours, and then they'll go off by themselves. Benny, did you see these lights, these candle lights? I didn't know they was that big. Now I got to put batteries in these. Yeah, that's the bet. That's the only way they come on is with timer. And you have to line these things up just right for them to Okay, and this is what I'm going to do. I am going to tape them together. So that way, when I meet one, I have the other one, too. Okay. And, um, yeah, both of them in the same direction. And you don't want to cover up your battery pack when you turn it on. Try to get it as even as possible. not going to be perfect, but they're going to be on there. Ah, oh, man. I knew I, I just can't get it right. Just can't get it right. I thought I had it right, y'all. But it was covering up the other side, and I thought sure I had it right. Okay. Let's do this again. All right, focus. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get both of them on the same end. And I thought it was like that, but evidently it wasn't. Both of them need to be on the same end where when I'm wrapping my tape, it won't cover it. set that up in there somewhere for right now and I might move it around I figure it out what's the best approach 
Now, since they have that wire spaced out, we're going to bring it about even space. I'll tell you what, since they have all of these, let's see, can we do this to try to make it parallel? We would start not where, okay, let's see how many. have on this one two three four five six seven so it's eight of them okay one two three eight so how many left over will we have one We meet up with this three. Three. So let's store it over here. See, can we get it like that? So we starting. Let's store it at um. Let's start at three over here. Or oh, maybe I should have started two. We're gonna see in a minute. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we'll be kind of like a little bit more parallel uh, evenly. So they won't have a lot of light in one spot. Try to make it more parallel and work with what we have. Or should we have went back some? We gotta adjust them when we get them on there. it out a little bit further. 
There we go. We'll go back with that. Now the top and the bottom will be more parallel and the rest of the part will have double. So these two, top and bottom, will have one in each middle. going to do with the battery pack. Let's make sure everything is, we're going to bring this back a little bit. that battery pack. Let's figure out what we're going to do with this. Since I joined two together, it's going to be a, a lot more thicker. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a piece of wire on it. Let's wrap it with a piece of wire. Around that tinsel. See, can we put some wire around the battery pack and the tinsel so it won't be so heavy and falling every which way. Let's see, can this be possible? I have to let out some more wire. I'm telling y'all, this wire gets so twisted. I didn't cut it about in a thousand pieces because I don't want to untangle it. I'll be all day trying to untangle it. I can use a Chanel stem. Let's try a Chanel stem because I'll be trying to tangle that off that all night. You can adjust my ring light. Or 
let's see is that's the brightest mode that's dimmer that's dimmer I think this one is the brightest that's dim I think that's the brightest it's gonna come I try to go with one. Do it one, cover it. So that way it'll be easy accessible. Well, let's go with two Chanel stems. Give me room to twist it. And let's hope this works. Okay, what we're going to lay is, see, can we lay it flat and play with it? base really good because that's where the tightness fall at that base and we're gonna set it up in here and we're gonna tie it I would love to have a longer tinsel but we don't want to mess with we don't want to mess with the fullness of our let's wrap this around the wire have that back turned turn towards you where we're gonna turn them on at that's why it won't mess with the So now we have our lights on and we got our battery pack secure and we're going to start with the over. I think we're going to have it hanging this way. So when it's hanging on my door, when I open my door, I'll be right there with my battery pack at. All right, now what we want to do next. I don't know. <laughs> I definitely do not know. Do I want to do a ribbon? Or do I want to start messing with the ornaments? Let's go ahead and mess with these ornaments. But do I want a bow on here? And I also brought this, this ribbon out. Since I'm going with green, gold, and red, and white part of my um life side nutcracker have white and a green white green i just love this plaid that's a pretty plaid so i'm thinking should i make just a bow plaid and just put some little poops inside of let's go ahead and put some poops inside of it That's what I'm going to do. And then I also, this one have the Merry Christmas on there. So I am going to go with Merry Christmas somewhere. But let's start with the... Uh, 
I have some white one and a half inch. Let me go and get it. around it. I have a red too. Let me get a red. Now, I told y'all I, I think of stuff as I go along. And I ran into this green. That is a beautiful green. One I can get by with this red. my green but the green I lost my one and a half inch I can't find it nowhere I had a one and a half inch green but it just went MIA on me I'm going to use this red or the glitter. Let's use the red glitter, but I have more red of the other one. I don't need that. I'm going to put one at a time. Let's go with the let's go with the big one first. Let's put the big one on there. wire that's coming out let's go towards the middle I mean the inner start making our little poos for the inner And I'm just going to gauge on what size to try to get them all even. Now, that's what I want. I don't want them too big where they be like hanging. Even though it's wired, I don't want them too big where they hang everywhere. And that might be a little too big. Is it a little too big? I think it'll work.
So these are my colors for the outside. And I'm having rose gold, pink, gold, white, and turquoise downstairs. Red, green, and gold are going upstairs also. No reds downstairs in my inside. Since I'm at the end, I'm going to lift that one, and we're going to put these two together. This aside, and where we're we gonna go, we go red. Let's go with some. Let's go with some red. Red and green go together. <laughs> now I said red, but let's go go. No, we gonna go red. But which red? We we'll go with a shiny red. Or should we go go? I don't know. So where did we start? I got. I don't know. No, we can start anywhere. Let's start over here. Somewhere, anywhere. We're gonna start here. We're gonna put that red right there. And we're going to try our best to make it even. Or do we need to go a tad bit bigger? So let's see. Or should we? We're going to put the red in the back. Since we started out with the green in the front. 
I'm gonna put the red in the back. So we won't be coming forward towards the middle when we need more in the back. Tinsel was kind of short. Do we have a longer one? <laughs> well, this this was the. Um, let's go for the longer one. Let each other pop out. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. Oh, I didn't go in the back on that one. I appreciate it to the highest. Go ahead and follow, like, and share if you like my content. More where this came from.
Okay, and this is the beginning of the red, which was supposed to be in the back. Wiggle its way to the front somehow. No, I don't want much of that red. I'm going to make sure. Okay, I had it pulled out too far before I go cutting on it. I finally finished with my chandelier, so I'll be showing probably tomorrow some before the way it came, the way I bought it, and some after I finish with it. I'll be showing you some before and after pictures. Now we kind of making layers, so I would make this one a tad bit longer and as you can see you can start anywhere and I'm going to bring this gold behind the red I think this is double sided so you got to make sure you're keeping your ribbons on the right side. I didn't put Mr. Green in there. Mr. Green want to pop out. Mr. Green want to pop out again. That's one thing about it, as it start getting more ribbon on it, you need to maybe push it down so that tinsel can wrap all around without breaking loose. is right at the end on that one. So let's just bring it down a little bit. And every time you do a ribbon, you are bringing it behind the other one. And I think this particular tensor here is a little lower.
glad I decided I was going to put this on my door. But I was going to put it over my garage door. But since the lights are indoor only, we going to try them on the front. Where I do have a shade over my porch. I hope they ain't talking about the weather. If they blow out, they blow out. Don't try them on the front. I hope they just talking about rain, not cold. This one is not double-sided, so you got to pay attention to where, what side you're putting it on. Look how you want to come up out of there.
thank y'all for joining. Go ahead and follow, like, and share, and please comment. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram. And go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching me from YouTube. And while you're subscribing, go on mosey on over to my website and subscribe there. My website name is BK3 Reef and Things. These things be so hard to tell. Like this white one, it's hard to tell what side it's on. Got to look really hard to see the thread the way it's going. Wrong side. I had to twist too much. I had to look at it. Wrong side. Now I got several pieces here where I started. Make sure you get all of it in there. Just give it a little pull, not much. I see that gold. The gold is good. go overboard with the ribbon. I start to put a whole nother line back here. Let me stand it up and see how it look because yeah, I think I need to put another line. I'm lazy about it, but if you want it to look right, you gotta do it right. So that way, the ribbon will be all over. 
lock this in one spot or should I I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start another layer because I already got four there so I'm gonna start another row and that way I won't be trying to put all the little sections in there try to make it parallel to the other one. We had some nice cool weather today. <laughs> That's why you see me with long sleeves on. Nice weather. Fall is my favorite season. I w it was hard for me choosing between fall and I have to put my berry back on there if I can. I hate to lose pieces. It came out of there. Yeah, you can put it back. I think. Yeah, I should be able to, but I ain't got time to be wrestling with this all night. Trying to put it back in that little hole. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, nice and cool today. I had to pull out some long sleeves. Now remember, we're going to have all these ornaments on it. So you don't have to try to make it so, like, you know, make it full because you're going to have so many other things in here. But I just want to bring some ribbon to the back. not get them as even because that's what I'm trying to do so don't worry about that either because I will be trying to trying to until I'll be just trying some of the tinsels are shorter so you got to work with that too To remember this is a 28 by 28 inch wreath. I think I'm gonna label this wreath as my video when I upload my video. I am going to name it how to put mesh on a cedar wreath.
your jacket on. Are you ready to go in? Mm -hmm. What you say? Oh. Oh, it'll be time to bring my heat out. I have a little table heater in here. I, where is it? A little table one that I never use. It should be still in the box somewhere because I couldn't use it where I were before. I sure did. It's somewhere in here. I can stand clothes though. You put on clothes, enough clothes. But when it's hot, you can't take them off. You'll be sitting in your in your workshop in your uh, birthday suit. Okay, that was the end. So I am going to connect it. I was at the end before I knew it. So I'm going to connect it to the first screen. they put less paint in cans now. I used to paint a whole lot. Paint don't last no time. You start spraying and spraying. It don't even be five minutes. You out of spray. So that's what happened to my spray today. I was excited about um, starting on my garland. But that little spray didn't go nowhere. somewhere else. And just like I did the other one, the second layer, I'm going to behind the first one. look like this one's all right wrong side what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take it from the base and just twist it around so it'll be on the right side and, and rather than taking it loose just twist it Thank y'all for joining. I appreciate it.
You know, like it's really winter time. That's good though. Hoodie time. I'm hoping it don't be cold for Halloween, though. It'd be so uncomfortable sitting out there passing out candy when it's really cold. And windy. Don't let it be windy with it, too. It was nice last year. It was really nice last year. So I'm hoping we have a nice one this year. I have me a t-shirt saying, this is my Halloween costume. Last year, what did I dress up as? I forgot. I think it was a, a pirate. A sheep pirate. A, a bee or something. I think I was a bee.
this will bring my colors out more because I'm trying to get all of my red, greens, and golds and whites out. And this will bring them out more. My life side nutcracker is green, red, gold, and white. So this will go perfect with that. got a garland to do. Next year I won't have to do all this. I'm doing this because I'm changing my colors. Inside and outside. All of my red, greens, whites, golds. I'm putting that upstairs. Upstairs is going to be red, green. All of those um Christmas colors that started out, but now they're adding pink. <laughs> I found pink Christmas uh, ribbons this year. The reason I started with that pink with my nine feet tree, I walked up in Walmart and they had all these pretty gold and pink uh Little ornaments, butterflies, angels, uh, what else? Birds, pink and gold. So that's where I started at with my pink. So why is I'm putting this in its own separate little thing? Thank God I didn't do but one like that. Two, if I'm counting this one, when I noticed it. Now, this one. was the end of the green on that one. Go down some so we have enough to wrap.
happy that goes separate. And the candles don't look so high with um, putting layers of ribbon on it.
that's why you always hear an accident because they be going fast on that little road back there. A little narrow road behind my house. Very busy all the time. And they be going fast. One man thought I was going too slow one time and passed me on that little narrow road. And they always have a cop sitting down there. I say, I hope a cop sitting down there and see how fast he's going. But he was lucky that day because it wasn't no cop. Normally be a cop sitting right down there. I mean, what's your rush? What is your rush? So I think that's it for the ribbons. Got the first and second layer on. So if you want to put ribbons on your wreath, no matter how many layers or how many ribbons you put on there, that's this is the technique I take. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start on our little ornaments. Well we gotta we're not gonna start off. The name of this video is going to be how to apply four layer ribbons on your wreath. Because that took me a little minute. It ain't no joke. It ain't no joke, y'all. Especially when you you don't want to sit in one place all the time. And what time is it anyway? Is it 841 or something like that? Ah, uh, yeah, it came out pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this be that for tonight. And then I think I'm going to incorporate some of this ribbon. It's so pretty. And then it's my exact colors in here. Red, green, white, and red. I mean, red, green, white. And uh, don't they have another color? Well, red, green, and white. But they don't have gold in here. So I'm going to incorporate this some kind. I got this. I'm going to sleep on it tonight and come back and know where I'm going to put this. And y'all know I do want to put Merry Christmas on there. I'm going to put that on there. And I'm thinking I'm just going to take one little strip that says Merry Christmas and incorporate it uh, maybe on the top. Or I may incorporate it in between. I might do that. Incorporate it right up in here. A strip of it saying Merry Christmas. That's what I might do. But I will sleep on it tonight. And I'm going to come back and start applying all of my ornaments you saw earlier. I'm going to put those on there. And, um, and that's about it. I'm going to put on this uh, wreath. That'll be enough. Because I got almost a bag of ornaments. And put those two in the rib. I may put um, proofs of this. Just incorporate proofs. Maybe about four big proofs. I got to find where I want to put them. So I may just put them in the center. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to put them in the center of my layers of ribbon I have on there already. Let me open it up and see how pretty it is. Sometimes being in a pack don't do it too much justice. Or seeing how it really looks. I know it's pretty. But sometimes you don't even know whether you even have sheer. Because they ain't going to have sheer ribbons on here. Or all they're going to have is premium ribbon wired. 
But they ain't gonna really tell you what they share. A lot of times I go into the store, I open it up and feel it. And and, and I can see it. But sometimes it be so hard to open it up in the store, you don't even want to go through all that. So this is it on the outside. Just the colors I want. And I, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to incorporate it in between. So I would do that first thing tomorrow. And put my ornaments on and y'all come back. Don't forget to set your notifications. So you will know when I am going live. Or giving a discount. On my website. So go ahead and do the notification on my website where I get discounts. So you will know. I suppose I already made a flyer. Flash sale or. Holiday sale. Early Black Friday sale. Something like that is going to be a fail. If I can ever take time and be still and, and make my flyer and put it out there for you so you would know when I'm giving a, a sale, a raffle. I think since I'm so late in the fall now, I think I'm going to do a Christmas raffle. So, uh, share my live. Share my live so I can get more people in here that wants to participate in the, um, in the raffle. Do that for me. The more the merrier. Sharing is caring and caring is sharing. So, go ahead and share if you care. And if you care, go ahead and share. <laughs> Do that for you, girl. So this is how to apply ribbons to your cedar wreath. This is how I apply mine to my cedar wreath. I'm not going to say everybody, but this is how I do mine. gonna get another ring light in here this one is doing really good because before i just had these old natural lamps and they wasn't doing anything and now i see the difference in ring lights and and those natural uh lamps i'm trying to pick up a little bit told y'all I finally finished my candle bra so I will show you that tomorrow let me put these ribbons up so at least I won't come out here with a whole bunch of stuff laying around tomorrow I will see you guys tomorrow. Set your notification because I don't know what time I'm going live. But I know I'm going live tomorrow. So see you guys later. Good night and thank y'all so much for joining.